It's incredible, the variety of Portugal. With a relative small area, we can find a lot of diverse and astonishing landscapes, where little cute small towns offer us a solid reflex of that authentic rural culture from our ancestors and from where we have many things to learn. Here, we can dive in the deep mountain ranges with their secret valleys and delight ourselves with the traditional food and other local products. Surprise yourself with the kindness, sympathy of the people, with histories of whole tribes and lost civilizations. Forget about the cities and the main centers. These locations have cheaper restaurants, less crowds, better air and calmer vibrations to make you feel at home or maybe discover one. Number 10. Número 10. Sistelo. We start our list with one village coming from the most rainy and humid region of Minho, next to the border of Galicia, in the edge of the national park Peneda Jerez. Yes, it could be in the Philippines or other eastern country, but no, it's northern Portugal. We could indeed have chosen dozens of other similar cute small villages that exist in this rural area, but we have chosen Sistelo thanks to the amazing, eye-catching landscapes typical from a small holding farming system. In Portugal, we call these pieces of land parceled by cistation walls sucalcos. Once we arrive to this precious village, we get in touch with some wired constructions that appear in the landscape. These strange-looking granite constructions are small cellars. They are called espigueiros and they help preserving corn. Their origin is in the times that this region was strongly occupied by the civilization of the Suebians during the 5th and 6th century AD. Number 9. Número 9. Marialva. This recommendation is the most mysterious village in the list. In the region of Guarda, Marialva is the motherland of many traditional tales and actually was the set for several different supernatural movies. This small village with no more than 255 inhabitants nowadays was once a spiritual center and capital of the pre-Roman Lusitanian tribe called the Aravi. Later, became an important Roman city called Civitas Aravorum, and during almost 800 years it ruled as a council center. We can feel the decay of the centuries mirroring through the ruins of the old silty buildings and we can imagine the long forgotten characters from the legendary story the goat-footed lady number eight número oito sortalha another cinematic little village with a medieval castle waiting to be discovered. With a little bit bigger population of just 444 inhabitants, they live suspended in the rocks as lizards. Yes, lizards. Lagartichus is the name of the inhabitants of Sortalha. They live at an altitude of 760 meters. Yes, it can snow in the winter. This village is situated already in the highest Portuguese mountain range called Serra da Estrela. Surtalha was once a very important military settlement, next to the border of the ancient 
kingdom of lion now there is Spain the walls of the city are impressive and there is a lot of anthropomorphic giant rock blocks number seven numero set Montserrat next to the UNESCO heritage city of Évora in the great region of Alentejo this little cute village is an authentic open-air museum with a magnificent castle and walls that involve all the village we have an amazing view over the biggest lake in Portugal the Alqueva the water in this warm region is precious and we do find here many beautiful fountains some of these look like sanctuaries these lands are also in one of Europe's areas where you can find more megaliths maybe that's why it's so easy to find these kind of old monuments around the village of Montserrat like the mysterious Cromlech of Shirish coming from the Stone Age Number 6 Número 6 As Anhas do Mar The magic region of Sintra just half an hour away from the Portuguese capital has many many surprises As Anhas do Mar is one of these good surprises built suspended in the cliffs with an amazing refreshing ocean water pool that is loaded with water during the high tides at first look we could be in some Greek island like usually say some of my dear tourists that visit this place with me but if you look closer you'll find the color blue details and the azulejos that remind you who are in Portugal the name Azanhas is an old Portuguese word for meal and here we find several water meals as well as some traditional Portuguese windmills number five number cinco old session another beautiful beach village this one is situated in Costa Vicentina a natural park in the famous region of Algarve built in the cliffs in the mouth of the river Seiche is surrounded by water in both sides in the inland side sweet water coming from Monchic mountains and in the other side fresh ocean water in Odessa you don't find the confusion of the mainstream destinations of Algarve here is all about enjoying nature relaxation good food and beaches hide it in the scarps number four number four Mervão from the ancient ruins of the famous Roman city of Amaya we can distinguish in the top of the mount the long and imposing walls of the castle of Mervão thanks to the strategic position Mervão during many centuries controlled the border with Spain Amaya was famous for the rock crystal mines and Mervão nowadays is famous for the calmness old monuments and spectacular views from the top of the village looking south to the natural park of Serra de São Mamede east the beautiful plains of Alentejo in west La Extremadura already in Spain and north we can distinguish just some dozen kilometers away the also precious village of Castelo de Vide that like Marvão you should visit and it could be in this list number three 
número 3, Piodão. The remote and scenic rocky village of Piodão is situated in the highest mountains of Coimbra region in Serra do Açor. This village is famous for being the hideaway of some famous outlaw characters, like the murder of Inês de Castro, the corpse queen, an historical legend based in a real 14th century episode between the King Peter I and her lover. In Piodon, the traditional architecture is dark, thanks to the grey shale rock and it strongly contrasts with the white color of the church, more typical from South Portugal. As well we are in the high mountains, there's a lot of beautiful hiking trails and also very pure sweet water river pools to enjoy in the summer. Number 2 Número 2 Monsanto Along the years, some artists looking for inspiration have chose to live in Monsanto, and recently many expats that moved to Portugal have also made this decision. Maybe it's the proximity to the famous Boom Festival, maybe it's just uh, the mystic magnetic feel that you can feel around here. If you believe that you have seen all about house configuration, wait until you see the streets of this beautiful medieval village, because you will find houses in the middle of massive rock blocks, rocks in the middle of the houses, and so on. Here is the real bedrock. But remember, there's a lot to see besides rock blocks. As well, Monsanto, it's very rich in history episodes and culture, you will find a lot of monuments to visit, abandoned churches, caves, and an amazing Templar castle. Don't you forget to check the typical dolls, and also the famous folk music percussion instrument called a dufe. Number 1 Número 1 Obidus It's easy to understand why this little cute white collar village has become such a popular destination. During the first dynasties of Portuguese history, queens and princesses have for long ruled here. Obidus Castle was the main headquarter for several official Portuguese queens. Maybe is why we find it so feminine, so curated, so neat and tidy, with all the flowers hanging in the walls and all that amazing ceramic crockery handicraft from local artists that you can discover. There are a lot of festivals around the year. In July, the famous medieval market, in April the chocolate festival, and also, in October, a famous international literature meeting. Check out our organized tours around Portugal and don't you forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel.